Welcome to Durango Cooks, the cooking show with local ingredients, local chefs, and local flavor. Durango Cooks is brought to you by Durango Coffee Company, Nature's Oasis, and Inside Durango TV. I get the pleasure of being here with Chef Dave Kuntz. We found you. You're in the Carver's Kitchen. Yep. We're going to start off today with a uh, winter salad. A winter salad will consist of roasted butternut squash. What are we doing? Super simple. Super simple. So just some diced minced onion, a bit of our maple syrup. We have a little rice wine vinegar here. Then we have some oil blend that we're going to mix in there. And what happens here is the uh, maple syrup is going to emulsify the dressing all together. And if you need a nice whisk, just head on over to Durango Coffee Company. Beautiful selection over there, of course. So what's next here? So, so, so now we have a nice mixture of our uh, field mix. Beautiful. Mizunos, all that kind of stuff. So what I'll do here is we'll take some butternut squash. We'll take a little bit of um, feta. Love feta. Take some of our dressing that we've done in there. And then we have a nice bowl here. Beautiful. Some candied walnuts to finish Yum. it off. And now the coup de gras, we're on to the creme brulee, which I think is really fitting. It's the 28th anniversary of Carver's this year. Sure it's sort of like a celebratory dessert. So as you can see, the, the milk comes to a boil. You definitely don't want to let it go too far because then you'll basically have a nice frothy mess coming over the edge and it's never fun to clean no that bueno. stuff up. No uh, bueno. No bueno. So we're going to be tempering the hot liquid into our 18 egg yolks. Did you say 18? 18. My goodness. This isn't hot, Louisa. You want to help me? Sure. All so righty. what you're going to do is you're slowly going to drizzle this into the egg yolks as I stir. And I'll tell you to stop. Okay, stop. And what we're doing is, is we're getting the temperature of the eggs up to the temperature of the hot boiling liquid so we don't curdle the egg yolks. And I clearly go. am making a big, gigantic mess. No, you're not. OK. OK, pour it all in there. All right. Perfect. I'm, I'm accused of getting uh, egg uh, shell into everything. Basically, just in case anything did get through. Right. Then we have some creme brulees. I'll do a couple here. But the key here is that you want to get your creme brulee to the oven before you put your water in there. <laughs> and why is that? Because uh, you spill it. So until there's a, a dime-sized jiggle in the middle of okay. your creme brulee. Okay? All right. So now that we have the creme Here's brulee in the oven, we'll add the uh, we'll, I add the water this way. Nice ice skating rink, nice glossy look. What Snoopy would be proud. Yes, he would. So we take this uh, sugar in the raw, mm -hmm. and basically I pile it in there. And what we're going to do is evenly coat it all the way around. We don't need to burn down the kitchen after 28 years. <laughs> <laughs> so everything's evenly distributed on the creme brulee. And what I do is just go in a counterclockwise. And you'll notice the sugars candy as you go around. You don't want to hold it in one spot too long. Let the sugars melt together because then you get bitter sugar. This is why you also need your own creme brulee. So you don't have to share with anyone with the <laughs> The, the cracking of the sugar and getting to eat it all yourself. Yep, so, and then just one final pass down the middle. Beautiful. Voila, there's our creme bubble, brulee. Bubble. Beautiful. These are cranberry. some cranberry orange shortbread mm. cookies. Well, this just looks, oops, we dropped the cookie. We're gonna put it back. This looks fabulous. Very, very yummy. Cannot wait to taste it. Thanks for watching Durango Cooks. Durango Cooks is brought to you by Durango Coffee Company, Nature's Oasis, and Inside Durango TV.